Hello, this is Steve Thiessen. I'm with the uh, Rock Idaho Realty Inc. at Silver Creek Realty Group. I work with Sean Taylor and this is his latest listing. 10236 West Virginia City in Star. This is a 2127 square foot home, four bed, two and a half bath, three car garage. And we've got an RV gate on the side. Walk over there. I believe that gate is a 10 foot gate there. And let's go inside and take a look. Well, we just went inside the entry here. That leads to uh, your living room. There's a closet here that goes under the stairs. Lots of storage in here. Let's go take a look. And you can hang your coats here. Nice little coat closet. And we'll go into the room here. Looking back to the front door. This leads into your eating area here. Got a slider to the backyard. This is a nice size backyard. We'll go outside there in a little bit. But I want to show you the kitchen first here. You got an island. With a sink, it's got the tall uh, faucet on there with the pull out sprayer. Black Whirlpool appliances. The refrigerator is included in this sale. Let's take a look at the pantry here. So it's got a decent sized pantry. I'm kind of looking back towards the, the family room. So if you're in the kitchen here entertaining, you still have access to your peeps in the family room, or the living room, I should say. Continuing on the main floor, we've got a half bath, pedestal sink, and there is a bedroom on the main floor here. This is what we would call bedroom number four on the floor plan. If you take a look at that, and this leads us out to the uh, three car garage. Decent sized garage here. Water heater there. This home was built in 2012. So all of your um, Your system should be still be in good shape. This home has uh, openers on both doors. So very nice feature. This home is on a slab foundation, which is kind of nice because you don't have a big step up into your house out of the garage. All right, let's head upstairs where there's another family room, the three bedrooms, and the laundry. I'll be up there in a sec. See you in a second. Well, uh, halfway up the stairs, I did forget that uh, there is a Nest thermostat in this home. Those are very nice. They learn what they learn your to. Um, they kind of learn what you do every day and uh, move the temperature accordingly. They work pretty nice. All right, we're upstairs now in what I'd call the family room, or it could be a rec room, flex room. Got a uh, ceiling fan up here to help with the temperature changes. Got a couple nice sized windows looking to the south. Of 
across the street there, you can see the uh, common area. There's the pathway heading back into a very large park. Go out there and throw the football or set up a volleyball net. Okay, we'll head out of the family room here. To the right, we have a bedroom here. Walk in here. You got your closet. And we'll continue out of that bedroom. We've got a full bath just outside that door. Next to that bathroom is a nice sized laundry room. It's got a shelf and pull up there at the moment, but lots of room in there. Could even add uh, cabinets or maybe a small table. From the laundry room, we'll continue down the hall. Got a nice deep closet here. You can actually walk into a lot of nice shelves, a lot of storage. Heading back out of the closet, the bedroom on the other side, kind of get a view out the back here of your north facing backyard. It's be very comfortable in the summer. Again, there's a closet. Decent size room. All right, we'll go take a look at the master bedroom. All right, we're in the master bedroom. If you walk in, you can see this very large window. Again, you got views of the common area there. This is face. This is on the south side of the home. Gonna get some of that warmth from the in the the winter sun down there. Oh, and let's look back here. Here's another ceiling fan in the master bedroom. Very nice. All right, so now we're into the uh, master bath here. Got dual vanities. If I can spin around here and stay out of the mirror. Nice size tub shower combo. Got a set of shelves here for some more storage. And a very large walk in closet with a shelf and pole. But you could have a, kind of a clean slate to do what you like in here. You could even put a dresser and kind of customize uh, the closet to your liking. All right, now we're back out into the master bedroom. Well, that concludes our look at the upper floor here. Um, I will go outside and into the backyard and show you that next. Be back in a sec. All right, I'm back. Right out to the backyard here. Gonna swing out here and take a look at the uh, patio. You can see where the uh, sellers have added uh, to the patio, your normal 10 by 10. I believe it is about a 15 by 25 now or 15 by 30. Um, it's very nice size. Of course, it faces north, so in the summertime, you're going to have a you have a pretty nice and shaded backyard here from the house. This home does include the playland here. And it's a uh, decent sized backyard. Oh, the sun feels good on this uh, cold day here. I'm looking back towards the house here. Got 
and go over to this area here where we've got the double RV gate. We could park a boat in an RV, remove this uh, fencing and park a big old trailer back in here. There's already a little bit of gravel, but looking back across the yard here. But it's just really quiet out here today. Well, that concludes our tour of 10236 West Virginia City. Um, if you have any questions, please contact Sean Taylor at 208-340-0000. You can also reach us at rockidaho.com. Thank you for taking a look.